coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Sports coverage you can count on. If you were making a Mount Rushmore of basketball stars to come out of Fort Wayne, Walter Jordan would be getting some heavy, heavy consideration. Yesterday, we brought you the story of Jordan and the 1974 Northrop Bruins, a team that helped bring the city together in a time of unrest. Tonight, we take a look at the basketball career of Mr. Jordan, who went from Indiana All-Star to Purdue to the NBA. It's all over. The ball game is all over. Fort Wayne Northrop has won its first Indiana High School Basketball Championship. When you win a state championship, high school basketball championship in Indiana in front of 17,000 people in Bloomington, Indiana, you know, that, 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 will, that, that, that just never goes away. Never goes away. The entire team is accepting the trophy. After leading Northrop to the state title in 1974 and being named an Indiana All-Star, Walter Jordan took his talents to Purdue, where he helped make an immediate impact. Freshman year, we had something called a Soul Patrol. That means you put the four freshmen in. Uh, with a senior in like Dick Satterfield and something crazy is going to happen, good or bad, something crazy is going to happen. Mackey was going to go crazy. So we were the soul patrol my freshman year. Heading into his senior year, Walter helping to lead the U.S. to the World University Games gold medal in Bulgaria, teaming up with stars Sidney Moncrief and Larry Bird. So I was nervous going into camp, and then after a couple of days, found I can play with him. Larry was an unbelievable player. Uh, early on, he had a work ethic that was Second and none. He knew how to have fun. Don't get me wrong. Off the court, he's he's crazy as hell. But 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 he he brought that intensity and that fire on the court. Walter finishing his Purdue career eighth all time in points and third in rebounds. He was selected in the fourth round of the 1978 NBA draft by the New Jersey Nets. You know, I never dreamt about being a basket pro basketball player until my mom said that that's one of the last words I heard her say on a deathbed visitor in the hospital after practice. And she told my dad that I was going to be a pro. And so that stuck with me from that point on is to go for it. Jordan is coming into the ball game. Walter Jordan, 6'8", performer out of Purdue, comes in. After being let go by the Nets in camp, Jordan playing two years of minor league ball before landing his NBA shot with Bill Musselman and the Cleveland Cavaliers in 1980. Magic with the ball on the left side. The Jamal Wilkes in the middle to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Can't find it underneath the steal. Underneath with it is Walter Jordan who slapped the floor. I still was like a little kid. I still was like in a dream world because when I saw Dr. J and Dewey Zerbin, my idol, I didn't know how to how to approach Dr. J. I, I was uncomfortable. You know, the fact that he knew my name blew me away. <laughs> After a season in Cleveland, Walter playing in Europe and the CBA before retiring in 1986. He moved to Atlanta almost 20 years ago, working with kids as a mentor and coach. So at 30, I, I said I was going to retire, and I wanted to find something. Everything I'd done after that, I've done because I had a passion for it. Because I believe you can't succeed if you don't have a passion for something. you got to be excited about your day every day when you wake up. I've been excited about my day for a long, long time. I love the challenges of getting up and going at it. I love working with young people. You know, um, I love giving back because so much has been given to me. I always say a blessing is only a blessing when you, when you, give, it, when you give it to someone else. Also in basketball news, congratulations to Ryan Yoder. He was named the head girls basketball coach at Westview. He takes over for Randy Yoder, who retired after 26 seasons last month. That'll do it for sports. I'm Glenn Marini, and we'll see you after this.